Go. Okay, so for this video, we're going to use our small goniometer and we're going to measure the ankle. Um, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion occur mostly in the sagittal plane. Um, I'm like, do we even go here with the planes of the ankle? It's so complex. Um, the normal end feel for dorsiflexion and plantar flexion is firm. For inversion is firm and for eversion is hard. Normal value for dorsiflexion is 20, plantar flexion is 50, inversion is 35, and eversion is 15. All right, so the patient is gonna be short sitting as she is on the bed here. I need to be to the side of her. Her shoe and sock, not that she had one on, but are off so that I can see. So you might wanna come over behind me, Monica, so you can actually see the goniometer. Um, so for this, the fulcrum is going to go right over the lateral malleolus. The station arm is going to line up to the fibular head. And then I usually hold it with two fingers like this so it's completely still. And I'm going to say to the patient, I want you to bring your toes up towards your face as high as they'll go. The moving arm needs to be parallel with, here's the fifth metatarsal, right? The lateral aspect of it. This line needs to be parallel to it. So if I put it like this, that's not parallel. That's actually going to it. It needs to be parallel with it, like this, if that makes sense. Okay, and so she's got five degrees of dorsiflexion. And then if you point your toes down like a ballerina, plantar flexion again, the moving arm needs to be parallel with the fifth metatarsal. So she has, you can take a little break, 60 degrees of plantar flexion. For inversion and eversion, I'm going to come around to the front of the patient. The fulcrum is going to go right in between the medial and lateral malleoli. You got it? Um, yeah. Okay. So if we go right in between the medial and lateral malleoli right here, that's where our fulcrum is going to go. Our stationary arm is going to line up with the tibial crest. So I'm going to line it up with the tibial crest, and then again, I like to hold it with two fingers so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm instructing the patient to, I want you to bring your foot or your toes in toward the other foot. And then my moving arm lines up with the midline of the second metatarsal. So she's got 15 degrees, a little bit more now, 18, 17, 18 degrees of inversion. And then for eversion, I want you to bring your toes out in the other direction. And again, it lines up with the second metatarsal, and she's got about 10 degrees of eversion. Okay.